Oh, that's really stupid. There. We're on opposite ends of the bracket. Anyway, this has gotten started. We've got Miko versus Mono. Um, Sheik Puff is probably an advantageous matchup for Sheik if I am... Huh? 55-45 Puff. All right, why is it a 55-45 matchup for Puff? Interesting. Okay. All right. So I'm being told that uh, Jigglypuff has a lot of relatively guaranteed rest punishes on Sheik. Um, so we'll see how Mono can uh, work this out. It looks like he's... I'm not really sure how he got that kill already, uh, unfortunately, because I was talking about Sheik, but in any case, he seems to be doing pretty well right now. Uh, Miko just needs to land a killing blow. She needs to get like an up air or a forward air or something like that. Um, she, okay, there she goes. She gets her uh, forward air. She's got a little bit of a percent deficit, but that's definitely... Uh, something she can make up. Oh, she falls off, but she's got a good recovery. Makes it back. Sweet spots. Nothing Mono can really do about it. And all of a sudden, she's really made up this percent lead by quite a bit. Um, oh, that was really gutsy. She went in there for a dash attack when Puff was charging a forward smash. If you just let it go in time, would have hit. But she gets her dash attack, got, got him popped up, and got quite a bit of percent off that. So it's worth um, gets a really interesting down smash that sneaks in underneath Mono's aerial. <coughs> um, she's not a very movement-based player, it would appear. Uh, she's, I'm seeing a lot of rolls and a lot of dash attacks. But she's throwing out enough hitboxes for Mono to run into that he's kind of hanging, hanging himself on occasion. Um... So th this looks relatively similar to the last stock, except Miko took this one back a lot faster this time. Um, I'm thar starting to think maybe Mono got a rest kill at the beginning, because uh, the way they've been trading so far, Miko seems to have been coming out on top. So... Hmm? Oh, a recovery mistake. Okay, that makes sense. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, so Mono's having a little bit of trouble spacing his aerials. Um, I feel like he would have a lot easier of a time if he were uh, really landing those in dangerous places for Sheik. Oh, that was a really nice up smash to catch him out of the jump. Uh, it was He was just trying to kind of float around in the wrong area, and Sheik said, Nope, you are in restricted airspace, and shot her out of the sky um, and she's getting some really nice extra credit right now e even with that kill 57% against Puff that's kind of a lead <laughs> uh, and she's kind of fishing for down smashes right now she's another one she's just charging them right there daring him to run into them it wasn't really working I'm told that uh Sheik's forward smash can be... Oh my god. Can be crouch cancelled. Oh my god, what? So much just happened. <laughs> Miko's friends are freaking out about what just happened. Because so many scary things could have happened and didn't just now. We are left with them trading one hit apiece. And Miko takes the first set after a very tense last stock with a Nice tipper back air. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty hype, I have to say. Uh, so as I was saying, apparently the uh, forward smash and a lot of other Sheik's moves can, at low percents, be crouch cancelled and then punished with rest. So, I don't know. Hopefully Mono didn't hear that so that uh, I am not giving him coaching. Oh, you went? Oh, okay. So Bernardo went and coached him. But uh, that's okay. We're all friends here. I think it's actually in the rules of actual tournaments that you can have a coach. So, as long as you're the only one, you're cool. Anyway, 
we went to Dreamlands, uh, which I can understand perfectly. It's been a whole lot of stray hits that uh, Miko has been getting kills off. Oh, why did he? Oh, no. She was already going to back air him, and so she didn't have time, it looked like, to change her direction and try and punish that harder. Um, they're going here, for obviously, because of Puff's survivability. Um, she has a better recovery than Sheik. She can just air steer her way back onto the stage from the blast zone if she's high enough. It's kind of absurd. So, she's going here simply so that she doesn't get killed quite as early as she was on FD. Even then, FD is not by any means the smallest of stages, and Miko is still getting her kills at relatively low percents for Puff. Just like you saw there, that wasn't that high of a percent for Puff to live to. So, Mono's really going to have to be making a little bit more of a survivability to make this counterpick work as well in his favor. As I'm saying that, I mean, he's got a little bit of a percentage lead, but Sheik appears to be making uh, quicker changes in percent than uh, Jigglypuff. Uh, she's She has more guaranteed stuff, I guess. Or stuff that lets her juggle Puff. And Mono's been having a little bit of trouble dealing with juggling. He's throwing out some aerials that either aren't that great for the situation, or he's spacing them not as great. Uh, he's not using that puff air steer to the best of his advantage. Um, so, he's getting popped up, and then he's getting swatted a little bit as he comes down. That's where Miko has been getting the majority of her damage and her kills. Right now, it's almost dead even. Um, they're both at very high percents, and really... A strong hit from either of them will probably... Yeah, just like that. will probably take the stock. So now Miko's got to respond to that. Um, and she showed she's able to do that pretty well in the last match. Although here it's going to be a little bit more difficult just because it's going to take longer to kill Puff on this stage. Um, so if she lands an up here right now or an up smash, it's curtains just like that, down smash. Um, she's been covering those ledge the ledge with those down smashes a lot, so we'll see if Mono can adapt and start jumping over them, and maybe trying to come down with some kind of aerial or even a rest punish if he's feeling gutsy. So Miko is still behind, but she was behind all game last time, and she still was able to come back, so I'm not counting her out. Nice neutral air to uh, interrupt his aerial game. Oh, she comes straight down with a down air. That could have been punished, but didn't look like Mono was ready for it. And she's charging down smashes once again. It's... I mean, it seems to have been working okay so far. Oh, and Mono tries to punish with rest and just gets back air. That she really needs to be working on uh, some stronger punishes for those rests. Oh, no, and she's jabbing the wrong way. If that had been the right way, that would have actually worked, but... Just a little technical flub. Oh! That was pretty frightening, but she got her forward tilt and saved herself there. Um, so yeah, Mono's been showing that he's willing to go for these rests, but he hasn't actually landed one yet. So maybe it's better for him to just stick to his guns and try uh, the aerial game that he's been working on right now. Because at the moment, he can get some extra credit with that. Um, he just has to chip away a little bit. Oh, a very nice jab and a very good follow-up off that, and we've got a pretty tight battle right now. Um, as I say that, she's off stage. Oh, no, and he finally lands his first rest of the set. So, that's 1-1. One, one. This is good stuff. All right, we're going back to Final Destination, the stage that she won on last time. Um, I'm not sure if that's allowed by Dave's stupid rule. They, they did strike here, so... I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> um, it's been pretty even. Huh? Yeah, exactly. There's no money on the line here. There's plenty of pride on the line, I suppose, but... It... I mean, Mono has not objected. I don't think this is a problem. Um, 
I personally would have tried to take Puff to a smaller stage than this, because Puff really doesn't make that much of platforms, whereas Sheik really can. And also, a smaller stage would just help Sheik kill that much earlier. But, I mean, she did win here before, so she's probably confident just because of that. Oh. Yep. Yeah. She's opting for aerials instead of charging smash attacks. I'm pretty sure a fully charged up smash, if it got the right hitbox, could have killed there. Um, so... Oh, but she gets a forward air, and she's got a full charge of needles, and she's ready for another little bit of extra credit, except that she gets back air. She can, can she make it back from that? Nope. She makes an, a recovery air. Charge needles, and then down air into up air? Down throw into up air. Okay. Alright, so I'm told that the optimal rest punish is charge needles first, and then just get a grab and down throw into up air. And that seems like a pretty guaranteed thing. Even if she DIs one way or the other, she's probably going to be able to get like a forward air or back air or something. An aerial. And at low percents, I imagine that up air is guaranteed. But that's just speculation. I do not play either of these characters to any significant degree. Oh, that up air was scary. I don't think it quite would have killed, but it would have put him pretty close. <coughs> All right, and a good recovery, and Mono is unable to punt it. Oh, wow. Um, that was very deiable, but I don't think she was ready for it. So... All right, she's off stage. She gets back aired, but she's at low percent. That's not going to do quite that much yet. So she gets a down smash that... Oh, no! Oh, no! She thought she was going to land on stage, and so she wasn't ready with her double jump. Or maybe the double jump got clipped, and she was expecting to be able to double jump. One way or the other, she is now down three stocks to one. So she's got to clean this stock up now, and then not take any percent with that next stock. And given the way that this has been going so far... It oh, no. All right. Good stuff to both of them.